Greetings one and all, this is Works, and welcome to my channel and today I am talking exclusively about online gaming etiquette, whether it is PSN or a gaming community, gaming website or what have you. I'm talking about online etiquette or the fucking lack of, all right? Now, please bear with me because it's gonna be a little bit lengthy, this one, but I just wanna explain a couple of backstories that has contributed to my frustration and my temperament as it stands now. Okay, first of all, I wanna address the issue of PSN etiquette, all right? Now, here's a situation. I'm playing Uncharted 3, one of my favorite games, right? Not as good as Uncharted 2, but Uncharted 3, yeah, I still like the game. But anyway, met up with Gamer A, playing co-op. I befriended her, she accepted. It was cool. Gamer A introduced me to Gamer B. I befriended her, she accepted, it was cool. I understood that they both were friends and they basically play games together, which was cool by me. But in the event that one wasn't playing and the other was, I would invite them to play the game that I was playing, Uncharted 3, which is the same game they would be playing. But with Gamer A, every time I sent her an invitation or even a message, she wouldn't respond. She wouldn't respond. You know, the communication got less and less to the point now where I'm sending her messages of invitations to play a game and I give her 24 hours to answer just to see, you know, if A, she's gonna pull this notification off bullshit or it's not her playing or she's watching the TV, cause that can happen. So I don't really assume nothing until 24 hours after because if you get a message 24 hours ago and you ain't answering it 24 hours later that means you don't want to speak to the person but you're afraid to press the delete button or let me know you're going to press the delete button so as a result of me sending numerous messages to gamer a and not receiving no answer no request nothing i deleted her and with gamer b who she introduced me to i'm trying to play games with her now but she always happens to be playing games with gamer a now i'm not trying to put her in the middle of anything but i'm just asking her straight well look you know is this how it's gonna be because we do talk you know me and gamer b had been talking you know we talk about games and recommendations and things like that and i recommended her to two other games far cry 3 which she bought and she hardly played with me, she played with Gamer A. And Gamer A wasn't really too into it, too tough. So it's always the time when she's not into a game that we both are into, that Gamer B would even have anything to do with me, right? And The Last of Us, it's the same thing with The Last of Us. So I sent Gamer B a message asking, well, is this how it's gonna be, you know? Am, am I, you know, are we going to be talking about games that we ain't going to be playing together because of Gamer A? And then Gamer B is telling me, well, you know, she wasn't happy with the message and she feels that, you know, that I'm forcing her to choose between one or the other, which I was not. I was just basically stating so I can make everybody else's job easier and for me to get the fuck out of everybody's friends list. That was my um, stand at that point. So I replied to Gamer B in saying, well, look, you know, I don't think it really makes any sense, you know, for me and you to be friends because, you know, you don't play with me anymore. <laughs> you know, but then she's saying she values my friendship, you know, and I value her friendship because, you know, on a, on, on a, on a private matter, you know, her job is um, is an asset to my job. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, you know, 
that's why we're kind of cool with each other. But then at the same time, on a gaming tip, you know, even now, she plays The Last of Us, a game that we have both received at the same time. That game at A didn't even get at that point. And we played a couple of games. And as soon as Gamer A got the game, then she started playing with Gamer A. And every time I sent a request, it doesn't get answered by her. And it's always, well, speak to you soon, talk to you soon. I'm thinking, does she think I'm a fucking idiot? You know what I'm saying? So I'm ready to do some deleting on that score. Okay, that's with the PSN situation. Now, I'm going to be talking about the community gaming website situation. And I'm going to specifically talk about Fragged Fucking Nation. Now, my problem with Fragged Nation is not even so much with the admin. No, it's not even so much with the CEO. Because he is probably the only person that has kept regular contact with me in relation to solving whatever problems I seem to have which I think is a commendable quality in someone that runs a company because it's all about service and respect and manners now with the administrators right um one in particular triple rec he was the person that actually through his youtube videos recommended me to the site and getting into the site, I realized the appeal of the website, but it was still overwhelming. And based upon that, I really wanted to set up a team to play in The Last of Us, because my frustration, as I keep saying, within shoot 'em up team-based games is competitors with no mics. So I'm trying to find like-minded gamers of that ilk just to set up a team with whether they're good or whether they're not i don't really give a shit but as long as we keep some kind of communication going because that's what frag nation is about social gaming right okay now with triple rec you know he done as much as he could but then someone else hooked up with me a guy called mint guitar from the uk which I thought was gonna be more of an asset because he's based in the UK and whenever he's online, I'm able to talk to him. He knows what time it is, I know what time it is. We'll get some stuff working together. But, you know, to cut a long story short, ask me for my friend, ask me for my friendship on PSN so he can reason. My situation was a bit busy. I couldn't get to him in time, but then I um, accepted his friend request and notified him that you know, it's a madhouse in here at the moment, but I'm online, okay? That's what I basically done. Then after sorting out my life, <laughs> I went back to, to um, my XMB bar, my PSN friends, and he was gone. The guy just vanished out of thin air. And I linked him on PlayStation and I linked him on Frag Nation to simply ask him, hold on a second, how come you was here and all of a sudden you're gone? And he never replied. And even prior to all of that, I spoke to one admin member with this simple message. Hi there, I need some The Last of Us advice. Can you help me please? And the fucker didn't even answer, right? Now me, I grew up in a family whose principles were solely based on manners and respect and courtesy because manners cost nothing. If you are in an, administra an administrative position in a company, business or service, the number one thing you have to basically learn, and I don't give a shit how fucking popular you are. If you haven't got time, let the person know you don't have no time. They will understand that is not something I'm gonna hang myself and slip my wrist over because you're not giving me the attention that I want or I need at that particular time. But let a person know that you're freaking busy because you can be the victim of your own success if you are that popular where you got an abundance of people like me getting into Frag Nation, being overwhelmed by the whole navigation of the site and just needing help. And you can't be fucking bothered to basically say anything either way as to the reason of your 
omission from my friends list and your non-participation of chat in the Frag Nation chat box. Now I give people 24 fucking hours, man, to respond and say something. And if you ain't saying nothing in 24 hours, then I'm making the best assumption, the best informed assumption. They say assumption is the invention of all fuck ups. But in this situation, it's common sense to me at the end of the day. Because if you're coming to me out of nowhere and I didn't come to you and you're getting and you're chatting with me, I think it's on the basis that Triple Rec must have basically told you guys something in order for you to contact me. You know, and that's not that's that's of no fault of Triple Rec. He's just probably delegating, you know, the correspondence. Because he's a popular guy, he's a popular dude, you know what I'm saying? So I totally respect that. But if you're holding an administrative position and you can't be fucking bothered to be talking to people and letting them know, say, well, look, I'm busy at the moment, let me link you. I mean, even, even with some of my PlayStation friends, hooked up with a guy called M Muddle Muppet, right? And he's a massive The Last of Us fan, a massive Gotham City Imposters fan, two games that I play, right? So I linked up with him and basically asked him, you know, can we set up a team or something like that? He wrote back and said to me, hey buddy, thanks for um, thanks for letting me know of your liking of the games. I'm afraid that my team is filled up on both games. I play The Last of Us mostly, but maybe we can hook up something in the not too distant future. Let me know your, your YouTube channel and I'll, I'll check it out and sub. You see, that kind of response is commendable because he's letting you know, look, you know what I mean? I can't promise you anything, you know what I'm saying? But I'm paying you respect because you pay me respect. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way to deal with people. On a freaking one-to-one PlayStation freaking 3 XMB PSN friendship standpoint level. But when you're basically running a fucking website or you're administrating on a website that involves thousands upon thousands of gamers, you can't take for granted that everybody that comes into that website knows how to fucking navigate around the thing. You know what I mean? You've got, to, you've got to have patience for those people. And if you have patience with those people and you help those people, what are they going to do? They're going to recommend the site to other people. That's how I got into Fragnation because of Triple Rec basically recommending that shit to me. Now, my whole experience of that has been shattered. It's been shattered. You know what I mean? And it's been run by people who have no fucking sense. Sense of courtesy, man, and no, and no virtue of patience either. The only person in that whole freaking setup, that whole community that has been consistent within their communication to me was the freaking CEO. What the fuck does that tell you? Do you know what I mean? So anyway, that is my situation in relation to online gaming etiquette, PSN and community gaming websites. Remember, we're going to be bending a whole freaking new, bigger, larger corner come the end of the year with the new, the next generation of consoles to come. Xbox One, PS4, and whatever Nintendo is gonna basically bring out next year. You know what I'm saying? And there's more of a social element of gaming as well. Do you know what I mean? So if you want your website to, to stand up and have strength, based upon recommendation, the number one thing, you gotta sort out your admin, man. The admin needs to fucking learn some fucking social skills. Now, I'm not basically saying that all the admin staff members in Frag Nation are like that. That would be very unfair of me to make a blanket statement. And maybe it's because I'm just unfortunate within my experience of the team. But it, it can't just be happening to me one. Do you know what I'm saying? So, in closure, I'm just saying, people if you're dealing with me know this you you basically telling me i can't or i can't do this for you at this point in time or i'm sorry i'm not going to do this for you or i'm not going to be partaking in anything with you please do not think that that's gonna induce me to fucking slip my wrist or hang myself. I'm a grown ass man, I can handle that shit, but at least fucking tell me, do you know what I mean? 
at least fucking tell me, man. You know what I mean? I have more respect for people that go out of their way to tell me that they fucking hate my shit. At least they come out and tell me. I can't read minds of people that basically cut me off and don't say nothing. I'm not a big fan of ambiguity, man. I like things straight. Tell me what the fuck time it is. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm going too long and too hard in this thing. I can go even fucking deeper. But that's my standpoint on fucking gaming etiquette. If you're dealing with me, deal with me fucking straight. In either direction. Yes, no, maybe. Seeing? Don't just fucking not say anything to me and expect me to read your fucking mind. Because if I could do that, I'd be, I'm in the wrong freaking profession anyway. <laughs> There's a whole lot of money to be made from that shit. Anyway, I'm out of here. Whatever you do today, have a blessed one. Happy gaming. And I truly mean that, ladies and gentlemen. Happy gaming. I'm out of here. Peace.